Hey everyone, so I have more top trumps for you to look at today and these are the Jacqueline Wilson top trumps. The official title is The Best of Jacqueline Wilson with a little illustrated by Nick Sherat down there which is cool. Now first of all the, the plastic please, I'm always in love with the plastic so I always keep mine in the plastic because I love the different colours and this one is a gorgeous gorgeous pink shade, so girly and so cute and just absolutely beautiful. Now I'm a massive fan of Jacqueline Wilson but I want to say one thing before we look through these. There is one problem with these, they don't say which books the characters are from which some of them is all right because you know some of the characters stick in my mind some i know really well but then there are some which perhaps i've only read the book once and i read it like when i was 10 or something like that so i can't really recall specific characters a few characters so for me the only bad thing about these is that the book isn't mentioned you know like i'm some of them i'm sitting here going i recognize that character i'm sure i know that character from somewhere and i just can't place the book so if I say that, which there are quite a few, um, you know, if you know who it is, let me know. So we'll look through each character first of all, then we look at the stats. So we have Dolphin, who is from Tattoo Mum. Is that its official title? Then we have April, who honestly I cannot remember where she is from, even though I know I know it. Then we have Claire, who is another one who falls into that category. Um, Tanya, who is from Bad Girls. I recognise that one straight away. Um, Marigold, who is the Tattoo Mum herself. Um, Kim, and I know I know who she's from, I just, oh, I cannot place it at all. I, I think it's Midnight, but I could be wrong, please correct me. Um, then we have Jade, who is from Vicky Angel. I don't ever remember her looking like that, the drawings have been revamped. Um, then we have William, not really too sure who he's from, I don't recognise him. Then we have Garnet, who is of course from Double Act. Then we have Biscuits, who is from um, the Biscuit Barrel, which is the, the two-pack. Then we have India, who I think I almost certainly can say is from Midnight or Best Friends, one of the two. Um, Justine, who is of course from the story of Tracy Beaker and the Dare Game, and starring Tracy Beaker. Um, then we have Charlie, who I'm not too sure about. And again, Andy, who I'm not too sure about. And Mandy. Um, no, I recognise Mandy. I cannot recall where it is. I want to say Bad Girls, but I could be wrong with that. Please tell me. Um, then we have Vicky, who is, of course, Vicky from Vicky Angel. Again, don't ever remember her looking like that. Then we have Chloe from Sleepover, Sleepover Club, one of my favourites. Probably one of the first Jacqueline Wilson books I read. Um, then we have Alice. But after watching Marchlands, I just can't look at a girl called Alice without seeing a ghost. And then we have Ruby, who is, of course, Garnet's twin from Double Act. And Treasure, who I believe is from Midnight or Best Friends. I always get those two mixed up. Seeing that's probably from none of them. Then we have M, And I'm sure I know where she's from, but I cannot remember. And then we have Verity. And I really can't remember the cat mummy. She's from the cat mummy, isn't she? Yes, she is. I love that one. That was one of my favourites. Then we have Gemma. And Lizzie, who is, of course, from Lizzie's Zip Mouth. Then we have Tracy Beaker. No two questions which one she's from. Then we have Tim, who I think is from Cliffhanger. I think. See, I haven't read most of her books in quite a long time. Um, but I am starting to read them all again. I've got a pile about this big, which I will get through. Um, then we have Sadie, who I think is from the Mum Minder. I'm sure she is. Then we have Daisy, who is my favourite character in the Sleepover Club. I loved her. She was fantastic. Um, then we have Violet. Um, not 100% certain where she is from, even though I do know I've read that book. I know. I know I know her. Um, and that is it. So as you can see, there is quite a lot in there, which I you know I know them, but I can't quite remember where they're from. So, for me, I would have liked to have at least said book and then the book title or, you know, for the ones that have been in more than one book, first appearance or something. Um, but we'll just go through, I'll show you the stats. So, we'll just go with Tracy Baker because Tracy's the best ever. Okay, so downside you have, okay, well, first of all, you've got the Nick Sherat drawing here in a little window, which is, you know, really cute. They got the casting really well with Danny Harmer for the TV series, didn't they? Because that is kind of what Danny looked like when she was younger. Um, then down the side we have six statistics. So you have creative, cheery, sporty, scary, set out Spice Girls, <laughs> creative, cheery, sporty, scary, greedy, girly. So Tracy's stats, creative, 65, 
I would have said pff, maximum for Tracy. Tracy is very creative. I think Tracy should have had, you know, 100% there. And I'm sure most of you will agree, um, you know, because Tracy never stops drawing. She never stops being creative. So I don't really understand why her stats are so low. Um, Cheery is 2. <laughs> okay, we'll give her that one. Sporty is 8. I think although she's quite tomboy, she doesn't really do a lot of sports. So I think that one's... That one's quite fair. Um, scary is 50. <laughs> um, yeah, I think that one's about right as well because even though she's quite feisty, she's still just a little kid at the end of the day. Greedy, 4. Okay, fair enough. And girly, 20. I think Tracy should have got slightly higher than 20 just because she is... She can be a tiny bit girly when she dresses up and things. Um, I think deep down she's quite girly. She just doesn't let it on. So the stats, I don't necessarily agree with them all, but it, you know, it doesn't make any difference to playing the game or anything. Um, no, for there, Tanya got 137 in girly. What's girly about that? Nothing. So the stats are not necessarily something I agree with. I just want to check Biscuit's one for greedy, because you know, that's what his character is famous for. So I just want to check to see what they've put him at. Biscuit's greedy is at 5. I don't agree, but okay. Um, yeah, so they are really well laid out. You know, they are great fun to play with. They're bright colours. They're, they are quite girly. Um, I mean, Jacqueline Wilson's books are tend to, tend to be aimed at a, a girl, a, a girly audience. You know, the fem the young female audience anyway. So it's not really, it's not really being sexist by making them pink or anything. But you know, boys can still read her books if they want. But they are just super fun to look at. Even like I said, it's just fun to look at the camera, the cameras, the characters and. Obviously, I'm hoping you guys will leave comments with who they are, and hopefully it'll narrow my list down, and once I read the books again, which I am doing, it'll start to jog my memory more. But even if you don't know who the characters are, it is still great fun. Any Top Trumps is fun, even if you don't know who the characters are, or whatever you're playing even, because it's still a competitive thing. Um, these are not dirt cheap, I will be honest with that. These are the exact price, I can't remember, but they're not the usual £3.50 Top Trumps. <coughs> Excuse me. These are from Amazon. And they were less than £10, but possibly more than 5 which I know is leaving quite a wide price range. But I, I just want to say I've lost the plastic case. Where have I put it? Found it. Um, so I just want to say, if you want to shop around for a bit, you know, do that. But I, I, I just noticed something. There should have been a Jacqueline, a Jacqueline Wilson one in here. I'm sure there was. Um, yeah, but shop around if you think you know somewhere where you might be able to find them cheaper. But be prepared to spend... Perhaps even just a little bit more than you would do on Top Trumps. I'm sure the first time I looked through this pack there was a Jacqueline Wilson card. Clearly there wasn't. Never mind. Um, yeah, but please feel free to leave comments and let me know your thoughts on these. And if you have them. And also please let me know the characters. I can't remember. Um, but that's it for just now. So I will see you all next time. Bye.